Well, two local businesses in the same shopping center as at Albertsons are being sued by the grocery store chain because they say, well, they're doing a business that they should be doing. Granny C's bakery overwhelmed with community support today following the story that we did on Albertsons suing them for illegal competition. The bakery had to close more than four hours early today because they actually ran out of their baked goods. Joey Prechtel went and talked with the owner and Joey he told you that he feels that he hasn't broken the lease. That seems to be the issue right here, right? So what are the legal grounds for this lawsuit? Well, Brian, in Albertson's lawsuit, it states the bakery is breaking the covenant code and restriction that help guide what businesses are actually allowed in the shopping center there. Now, the CCNR states no other supermarket, bakery, or deli, or a store that sells alcohol for someone to take home is allowed. But DeBoer's lease states no supermarket with a bakery or deli can open up. The difference appears to be this semicolon. Granny C's Bakery had to close up early on Wednesday after selling out of nearly everything due to overwhelming support. It made me happy, actually. Uh, I'm glad that we're not the only people that want to come out and give them support and make sure that we can do everything we can to make sure they don't get shut down and show them love. People coming to support the bakery were surprised by the lawsuit from Albertsons, citing illegal competition. They don't have anything that can compare to these guys to be losing business. The owner, Brad DeBoer, emotional. There's no way that I could not say thank you. After seeing the support from the community. Boise is one heck of a town, so I, I don't I don't believe that's not, you know, that's not um, something that I'm surprised by. But DeBoer says he's not violating anything. So this is our letter of intent. This document told the landlord exactly what he'd be doing, running a bakery. And the lawsuit from Albertson states no other supermarket, bakery, or deli, or a store that sells alcohol for you to take home can open up. This is from the Covenant Code and Restrictions. But DeBoer's lease doesn't say that. It instead states no supermarket over 5,000 square feet that includes a bakery can open, not a separate bakery on its own. The difference comes down to a semicolon leaving DeBoer in a frustrating position. Then the property managers, how they can tell me and send out a lease that they say um, isn't in violation of the CCNRs. And because of this lawsuit, the future is up in the air right now for Granny C's. I'm still at the same place I was yesterday. I, I, I don't see a way out for us. Um, it, it's here or bust. Now at this time, DeBoer says he hasn't talked to his landlord about this issue. Now, Albertsons did release a statement to us today regarding this lawsuit, saying in part, in this instance, Albertsons seeks to address its landlord's failure to follow the agreed upon restrictions. Prior to filing suit, we notified the landlord of our concerns and the landlord failed to adequately respond. Now, I tried reaching out to that landlord, FPA Shops at Hillcrest. At this time, I still haven't heard back. Brian? Well, so just so I understand, what happened, the CCNR, the Codes and Covenants, has a semicolon in it, but the lease does not, is that correct? That is correct. So basically, if you look at the Covenant Code and Restrictions, it has that semicolon which separates the supermarket, which is defined as something being over 5,000 square feet, including aisle space, including storage space. And then there's a semicolon, and then it goes on to list some other restrictions, such as a bakery, a delicatessen, as well as some other items mm -hmm. in that uh, CCNR. But in, in the lease itself, it just states no other supermarket that is over 5,000 square feet that can that contains a uh, deli or a uh, bakery can open up. So there's no semicolon in there that's separating them, that's listing separate businesses, Brian. But in the CCNR, and that dates back to 1987, that's where that semicolon pops up. So both are legally binding documents. It's just going to see which one carries more weight now. That would yeah, be the next. Yeah, really. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Joey. One